Greetings! And here I am, starting something new. This is a premiere on my new channel, and um, I'm going to start bringing some classic movies, some classic documentaries, and um, some film shorts. And that's what this one's going to be today. As you can tell by the title, it's going to be a classic film short. And this one's Betty Boop, Snow White, and it features Cap Collins. Cap Calloway as Coco the Clown, and he sings the uh, St. James Infirmary Blues. Um, this is by Max Fleischer, and, and like I said, it features Cap Calloway as Coco the Clown. This is done in 1933, and Snow White, known as Betty Boop, is uh, she plays Snow White, and then the film you know, Max Fleischer Studios directed this in 1933. Um, and was credited as director, although virtually all the animation was done by Roland Crandall. Crandall received the opportunity to make Snow White on his own as a reward for his several years of devotion to the Fleischler studio, and the resulting film considered both his masterwork and the important milestone of the golden age of American animation. Snow White took Crandall six months to complete. Um, and when you watch this, you know, the animation and the music is just, you know, for the time, in 1933, it, it's just spectacular. Yeah. And, uh, you know, with the plot such as this, it's really more of a framework to display the series of gags, musical selections, and animation. Uh, critics cited the film as having some of the most imaginative men. Ima <laughs> Imagine, imaginative ima an animation of background drawings from the Fletcher Studio artists. Um, May Quinzel, she performs the voice of Betty Boop in Olive Oilish Queen, and Cab Calloway is the voice of Coco the Clown in, like I said before, sings James Infirmary Blues. Coco's dancing includes moves that look more like a moonwalk. Um, during the St. James number, which is rotoscoped from the footage from Cab Calloway, um, the film was deemed a cultural significance by the United States Library of Congress and selected for preservation in the National Film Registry in 1944. Oh, in 19, also in 1994, it was voted number 19 of the 50th greatest cartoons of all time by members of the animation field. The film is now in public domain. Um, the cartoon was featured in the music video for Charlie XCX's You're the One. Um, you can find that on uh, Wikipedia or even on YouTube. So that is the story behind this, uh, this animated short. And um, I try to um, do this without me being on the screen, but it um i guess i need to be here for the sound to work because the original recording silly me did not work so i am going to bring up the film here and um there we are and uh we're gonna start watching it okay here we go i hope the sound works on this one <laughs> because I really don't feel like watching this for a fourth time, even though it's a classic. Even the music is fantastic. Eh? To the bottom is a passion uh, past the National Film Review. St. James and Trauma are able to use by Cap Holloway. Made a pen and ink. She can win you with a wing. Ain't she cute? Sweet body. You're the fairest in the land. You're the fairest in the land. I want to see my stepmama, stepmama, stepmama. I want to see my stepmama. My stepmama, the queen. 
Back in 1933, she was quite the sex of all, wasn't she? Really boo. Look how they shovel like a shit from a horse. I've heard about your looking glass, looking glass, looking glass. I've heard about your looking glass. And what it says is so. Magic mirror in my hand, who's the fairest in the land? You're the fairest in the land, you're the fairest in the land. <laughs> Off with her head! <laughs> okay! The funeral march music. <laughs> Poor Betty. Poor Betty. The tree looks Hide my face. <laughs> Bring a poison apple. Folks, I'm going down to St. James Infirmary. Another sweet man like me. Now, when I die, bear me in my straight leg. Let me see footage of Cal Calloway doing this song. It's exactly the way he gets it. You know, the animation is just absolutely fantastic. Put a $20 gold piece on my watch chain so you can let all the boys know I died standing past. Then give me six rap shooting ball bearers. Let a chorus girl sing me a song. Put a red hot jazz band at the top of my so we can raise hallelujah as we go along. Folks, now that you have heard my story, say, boy, hand me over another shot of that blues. If anyone should ask you, Tell them I got those St. James in very blue. Magic mirror in my hand. Now, who's the fairest in the land? You're the fairest in the land. <laughs> <laughs> he 
was really great. You know, these these movies are a timepiece. Um, you know, a look back in time, if you will. Um, the music, um, the animation, even the people like singing the songs and you know, fantastic stuff. I mean, and there's so many of these movies that are now um, public domain. And if you don't know what public domain is, um, look it up uh, in the dictionary or, or Google it. And um, so many fantastic movies. I'm going to have a lot of these going to be featured on my channel. I've got some amazing stuff lined up. Um, not only do I have ex more shorts like this, I've got some classic horror. Um, Sunday is going to be the first feature with um, with Bella Lugosi, and um, yeah, so I've got some uh, some fantastic stuff coming up, guys, and um, I'm looking forward to uh, being able to share with you some classic cinema. Of, some, of a day long forgotten. You know, these performances, the music, um, you know, these deserve more love than what they get. And they don't make them like they used to anymore, guys, because this this stuff, you know, they back then it was all, there was no CGI, you know. And this, the, what they can come up with, what they were able to do cinematography-wise, you know, 50, 60, 70 years ago. Fantastic stuff. Well, anyways, that's it. That's all I got for now. And I hope you enjoyed the short. Let me know what you thought uh, in the comments below. And let me know uh, if there's a certain movie in the public domain that you'd like me to feature. And uh, I'll see if I can get it on. Uh, I'm going to be doing some, like I said, i got some classic horror. I've got some documentaries lined up. I've got... Um, some late night featurettes too, or some old series from TV from the bygotten age. Um, like these things are like the complete series, four or five hours long. So if you can't sleep and you need something to watch, hopefully I'll be able to uh, put these on. So yeah, take care guys. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.